It's the year 2125, 100 years from now, cities stretch into the sky. AI manages entire economies and human minds exist in digital form. Or maybe the world isn't so utopian. Maybe we're overstepped. Climate disasters, technological control, a society that's lost its humanity. So which one is it? A futuristic paradise or a dystopian nightmare? Let's break it all down. Science, the technology, and the predictions. What experts believe our world will actually look like a century from now. This is the Vault Files where we rip apart the unknown and put the pieces together. Today we're looking at something a little bit different. We're jumping ahead into the future. 2125 might sound far away, but think about it. If you went back 100 years to 1925, nobody could have predicted our world today. Back then, no internet, no AI, no space travel. But here we are. So let's talk about what's next. Will we have cities in the sky? Will AI rule everything? Will humans even be the dominant species anymore? Strap in, because this is our future. Let's start with the big one, the Earth itself. Scientists predict that by 2125, climate change won't just be an issue, it'll be the defining challenge of our time. Sea levels, they're expected to rise by at least 6 to 10 feet. Major cities like New York, London, and Shanghai might be underwater. Miami, completely gone. And the weather? Extreme. Hurricanes that last weeks, heat waves that melt infrastructures, some parts of the world might become uninhabitable, forcing entire populations to relocate. So where will people live? Climate-controlled megacities imagine fully enclosed domes complete with artificial weather systems that self-sustaining ecosystems. Dubai is already working on a prototype, and for those who can afford it, private space colonies, NASA, SpaceX, and China's CNSA all predict that by 2125, humans will be permanently living on Mars, the Moon, or even massive orbital stations. Now let's talk about the real game changer, which is the technology. AI will be everywhere, and I don't mean smart assistance, I mean AI governing entire societies. Imagine a world where AI manages the economy, directs traffic, predicts crime before it happens, and even acts as a digital god. An intelligence so advanced that it knows you better than you know yourself. But here's where things get kind of weird. By 2125, humans might not even be fully human anymore. We're talking transhumanism, merging biology with technology, neural implants that let you control computers with your mind, brain-computer interfaces that let you upload your consciousness to the cloud. Elon Musk's Neuralink is already laying the foundation for this. By 2125, you might not even need a body anymore. Just a digital consciousness living in a simulated reality. Think of it like the Matrix, but voluntary. And if that sounds crazy, consider this. By 2050, experts predict that the first humans will undergo full-body cybernetic enhancement. By 2075, human-AI hybrids could be the norm. By 2125, pure digital existence might be an option. So if AI runs everything, what happens to jobs? Well, here's the brutal truth. By 2125, traditional jobs might be completely gone. Manual labor handled by humanoid robots, white-collar work, AI algorithms, even creative fields. AI-generated art, music, literature, all indistinguishable from human-made content. So what do humans do? The concept of a universal basic income will probably be standard by then. The government, or AI, if we let it run the economy, will provide citizens with credits to survive. Work might be voluntary or just for entertainment. But here's the issue. If humans don't need to work, will we lose our sense of purpose? That's a question no AI can answer. One of the biggest changes by 2125, Earth won't be humanity's home anymore, or their only home. Right now, we're just starting to explore space colonization, but give it 100 years, we could have entire cities on Mars, floating colonies orbiting Venus, mining stations on asteroids. Elon Musk has said that he wants a self-sustaining city on Mars within our lifetime, so imagine what's possible in 100 years. Governments will likely become interplanetary, unfortunately. Nations will fight over space territories. The idea of being Earth-born might not even mean much anymore. And for the real sci-fi lovers, some futurists believe that by 2125, we'll have discovered life beyond our own solar system, whether it's microbio or intelligent. That's the million dollar question. So where does all this lead? Here's the big question. By 2125, do we have a utopia or a dystopia? A utopia means AI has solved poverty, war, and disease. Humans live in a digital bliss or space colonies free from suffering. Technology enhances our lives. No one or no thing replaces them. But a dystopia, that's where AI controls everything, where privacy is dead, where freedom's an illusion, where humans are just cogs in a machine-controlled world. And if you look at where we are now, data tracking, AI surveillance, algorithmic control, we're already heading in that direction. The reality, the future won't be black or white. It'll be a mix. Some will thrive in a hypertech world and others might not be so lucky. So here's what we do know. By 2125, the world will be unrecognizable from today. AI will rule industries. Humans may merge with machines. Space will be colonized. Some places will be paradise. Others will be dystopian nightmares. So the real question is, do we control the future or does the future control us? One thing's for sure, this is just the beginning. The next 100 years will define whether we thrive or 
vanish. So what do you think? Will 2125 be a golden age or something far darker? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's dig in. Get full deep dives and early access on Patreon and subscribe for more investigations. And you can also follow us on TikTok and Instagram as well for content. And yeah, let's just keep searching for the truth because we know it's out there. Have a good day.